trash bag dress. And I have a fishing spear. So I would just like to point out that this is what happens when you start your mornings off watching Broad City. I'm just playing. Me and Trini were cleaning out a work area yesterday and she gave me her fishing spear. She was like, hey Cindy, do you want a fucking spear? And I was like, yeah, I would love a fucking spear, actually. And somehow we got on the topic of a trash dress and so here I am in my apartment with a fishing spear. Wearing a trash dress, I mean. Now, but for real, imagine like breaking into my apartment and it's just me naked in a trash bag just coming at you with a fucking fishing spear. <laughs> Ooh. I also got this old school cane umbrella, so I am now trash Mary Poppins, but I don't watch children. I just watch dogs. Okay, so I clearly have no idea what's happening in my life right now, but that's that's fine. Um, you know, it is what it is. You know, it just be like that sometimes. But welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if you're new, <laughs> my name's Cindy. This is this is what you're getting. Um, I woke up really early this morning with an awful, awful headache and I just laid in bed for like a few hours and I was like, you know what? This is not gonna ruin my day because I am in desperate need to go on a hike. I am like in like absolute, like dire need to just be alone with my thoughts in nature. So I'm getting ready to head out. Um, it's still pretty early and I, I shouldn't encounter too many people on this hike especially once I get off of like the main path like onto the ridge trail um so I'm really excited um because I really just I really don't want to I just want to be alone you know what I mean it could just be like that sometimes and I have this image in my head for this self-portrait that I've wanted to take for like a month now but the only scenery I can think of that I'm gonna get like what I have in my head is on a ridge trail so I have my fingers crossed that I'll be able to do that today, but here we go. It's taking me forever to head out because my head really was hurting really bad, but I took ibuprofen and I feel a lot better now. And I got dressed and I'm looking cute, which I really got to stop doing because that's how you get stolen. Nah, I'm just playing, but I, I got to stop making jokes like that. It's really not even funny. Um, I'm just finishing up my coffee and then I'm gonna head out. All right, so I'm here and there's actually quite a few cars here. So there's quite a few people here, which I was kind of afraid of because it's already nine o'clock in the morning and I really wanted to get here at seven o'clock on the dot, but I couldn't because of my headache. But it's also raining, which was really concerning, um, but I'm still gonna go. I think the rain's supposed to stop really soon anyway. It wasn't supposed to rain at all today. Um, but I mean, you know, if it's too slick and too dangerous for me, I'm just gonna turn around, yeah. But I don't think I'm gonna be able to take my picture. But I'm gonna keep my hopes up, we'll see. But the nice thing is, there's a there's a public bathroom here, thank God, because you already know me. You know, I gotta use the bathroom already. Um, but I'm actually really excited because this is a dog-friendly trail, so I'm excited to check it out. I, I have to come check them out myself first before taking Helios with me because he is a very high energy dog and he, okay, we're from the Midwest, so he is not used to this type of environment. Um, he's going to see something like a gecko or something. He's going to chase it and he's going to take us right off the ridge. Like we're going to fall and go missing. Yeah. So I have to really be careful where I take him. He's almost pulled me into traffic a few times uh, just because he's n not paying attention. He's not used to this type of like the busy environment in town and, you know, these types of ridge trails and stuff so i'm excited to check it out and see if it's something i can take him to next time but i'm actually uh i'm gonna take him up to kind of point um in a couple days because i have another day off so i'm really excited um to check that out and take him with me so okay well <laughs> I'm on the trail but it's really coming down now oh look at all the chickens so we'll see how this goes um, dang, I wish I had my contacts in, but I only have one pair left, and I'm gonna be honest, I can't even really see out of those things anymore. I gotta go get a new eye exam and get more. Um, my eyes are getting bad. I really need to get LASIK. Um, 
Uh, I hope the rain slows down a little bit, but if not, it's it's okay. I'm still having, it's a beautiful day to be alive. I'm so freaking glad to be out here. Um, this is great, this is great. I see now, so the actual loop that I'm on is a paved actual road that you can drive along. But I parked at the front in the parking spot and so now I just gotta find the actual loop ridge trail, which I think I'm getting fairly close to actually. Um, but yeah, obviously like I'm not, I'm not saying which trail I'm on because I've said in previous videos, you know, I'm not, I'm not really trying to like give away a bunch of like spots to people that are just like coming to visit um, and just kind of like getting these places crowded up because um, I know you know there's a lot of hikers like me that like to have some just some breathing room yeah um I mean not that this is like an unknown spot or anything like secret like super top secret but like you know I'm just I'm just gonna keep it to myself yeah uh there is more parking um down by the actual trail there's a whole campsite here okay we'll see but now I know for future reference all right, I found the trail. We're getting started now. I think I think I am going to be able to find a spot and get my picture taken and no one's going to be around. So that's really good. I was just thinking about how I feel like I'm in a magical forest and I slipped and I caught myself on my hand, but I definitely need to be careful and I'm definitely not doing this entire loop because it is a very long loop. It's like uh, 4.8 miles um, and it's not going to take me like three hours to do because um, my fitness level is getting there and especially without vaping and drinking. like. My body is so much more capable of handling this stuff um, than it was like when I first moved here and it's it's great to see but um, yeah it's getting slick so gotta be careful and I really hope the rain stops soon. Ooh, see what I mean? Alright, rain is expected to stop, oh, rain's expected to stop in about six minutes. Um, so I'm just going to give this some time because I really don't want to, I don't want to go home. Like I really just want to be out here for a little bit longer. And like the cloudy, like the moodiness would be so perfect for the picture. So I just got to find this spot. I was thinking, because I got to take my shirt off. I have a bikini top on. And I was thinking about it, like honestly though, like that's one of the nice things about living in Hawaii. Like someone can walk up and find you like in the forest in a bikini and nobody's going to think anything of it, you know? <sighs> okay. I'm going to be honest though, like... I think I'm going a little crazy, like just slowly losing my mind bit by bit, just like day by day. Um, I just went to kind of, I went through kind of a rough patch um, for a minute there. And like, I just wanted to point it out because um, I let my dishes build up for this past week and it was so freaking stressful and annoying. I would get home from work and I just like, I wouldn't be able to cook because I had to do dishes, but I was too, upset to do dishes so I wouldn't and it was just like this loop all week and I guess I just need to say like if you're going through something like that like do not do not let your personal space fall apart um because I, I did the dishes yesterday I cleaned up I picked up around the apartment and I just felt so much better already and it's so important that when you're going through something like that that you're not Dang, I mean the shelter from the trees is nice, but holy crap, I think I, mean, I, think I might need to turn around, yeah. Mm, but I, what I was trying to say was, you know, like, if you're in a pit like that, you need to be able to come home and relax, like, not come home and it's like even more stressful for you, you know what I mean? But just something on my mind. I 
think I just found the spot. All right, well, ooh, hopefully I got some good ones. No one walked up on me, um, but I'm gonna put my shirt back on now. And I really hope I got some good ones, but we will find out. So I got my shirt back on and I put my selfie stick away, got my glasses on. And as soon as I put my backpack on and clipped it, these three people came walking around the corner and I, I heard their voices like as I was like putting my shirt back on but like I can't believe I did all that like I really really hope that I got the picture that I wanted out of that because I'm gonna be kind of upset if I didn't because all, like that was perfect timing and the rain is letting up and the sun is coming out it's a good day But anyway, back to what I was saying before about like kind of losing my mind, like, I don't know, man. So sometimes I'm just like, sometimes I even need to like sit down and chill for a second and just be like, girl, what are you talking about? Like your life doesn't have to be a movie. I mean, it can be like if you want it to be, but it doesn't have to be all the time. Like, oh, I don't know, man. Sometimes I just get into my head and I just, I just go with it. I just go with that. I don't ask for anybody's opinion or advice or anything. And, you know, like I said, like I am going through something private and personal right now. And I don't know what's going to happen. We'll figure it out after next month. But I am, I mean, no matter what happens, I'm going to be fine. You know, it's just sometimes I'm just like, damn, like, and then sometimes like some of the stuff I write too, I got to check myself. I'm just like, bro. Are you, are you good? Are you good? Oh, this is so cool up here. Yeah, but I definitely need to take Helios on some other like easier trails first, get them accustomed. Um, before I try to take him on something like this and obviously like it has to be dry um, when I take him too but there's no way I'm doing all this today um, you know I'm having a lot of fun and this is really good for me and I'm really glad that I'm doing it like always but I don't feel the need to push myself to do the whole thing today because I really do want to go back home and just relax too um, you know, I'm tired. I work so much and now I finally am starting to have this free time and I don't need to do too much in one day, yeah. Okay, this would have actually been an amazing spot too, but now there's too many people and I'm shy and look at that, like no way, my phone's gonna fall. It's gonna be gone, man. Oh my God, there's just, there is nothing like just getting lost in the mountains for a little while and just clearing your head. Like I already feel so much better. I mean, I felt much better yesterday and then especially this morning. But now it's like, okay, I'm, I'm having this like moment of clarity where it's like, okay, I, I think, I want to say, I think I know what I need to do, but I'm still like not completely sure about that. But I am having this moment of clarity that like, no matter what direction it goes, it's all going to be okay. You know, um, I'm going to be fine. And... Uh, how, how can you not be fine living somewhere like this, you know? Like, everything's gonna be okay. Not just for me, for you too. It's all gonna be good in this hood. The healing power of nature is unreal. I feel like a whole brand new beach, you know, like high heels on my tippies type shit. God damn, I'm so white. A 
found a leaf on the ground. Oh, it splattered dirt on me. Grody. I finally cleaned off my glasses. I can see so much better now. Ugh. I'm having such a good day. Watch me do this whole fucking trail, do. <laughs> I have also learned a lesson. Oh, which way do I go? I think I go this way. There's this trail. And then... Let me look at the map real quick. Okay, yeah. The sign broke off to a completely different trail, so I'm glad that I um, kept going this way. I'm getting better at this, though, because I knew to keep going this way. Um, but yeah, I was saying, something I've learned is, like, I definitely need to start allowing myself to feel things deeper and to acknowledge it and accept it when I'm upset and to really try to understand it and work through it instead of just brushing it under the rug like you know it is what it is because I I do this thing where like I'm laying in bed at night and I'm thinking about all these things that are stressing me out and that are making me cry and then I blow it all away by saying but nothing really matters at the end of the day anyway because we all die and we are a smaller than a speck of dust in the universe our planet is in all of our existences and in the grand s scope of everything that's around us our problems really don't matter and while I still feel like yes that's true um at the end of the day ultimately it just really doesn't it's not a healthy way to process your negative emotions and I think that's why I've been so upset lately because I feel like I've kind of done that my entire life and I think that's why like for so much of my life I've been relatively emotionless because I just do that thing I just I just toss it to the side and say it doesn't really matter anyway because what am I what am I supposed to be you know Ooh, got a little deep there but I just I need to start saying this stuff out loud because if I don't I'm just gonna keep doing it and when something upsets me I'm not gonna process it correctly and then I don't want to wake up someday when I'm in my 40s and 50s and have a mental breakdown because I never let myself accept and work through all the things that I should have been working through in my 20s and my 30s and I'm not doing this, you know, I'm getting close to 30 now. I just turned 27 and I am going to start acknowledging everything I feel and I'm going to be honest about it. And it really is freeing, you know, it's, uh, is that smoke? There's like smoke over here in the sun. I think it's just like dirt dust, but yeah, man, I'm not entering my 30s just, like, blindly putting my emotions away. And especially now that I've gotten so much deeper in my writing, I think that's what's really helped me. Um, that's my outlet, you know. That's what's really allowed me to start really noticing these things about myself and being honest about it and, and calling myself out about it and, you know, journaling every day and writing these pieces and writing these things and sometimes sending them to people and sometimes not and just keeping them to yourself, you know, um, it really, really helps a lot. Um, cause you know, at the end of the day, it might not matter in the grand scope of things, but it does matter, um, for your life and, and for the time that you're here, you know? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna keep, having these very human experiences and emotions and I'm gonna write until my eyes bleed and and I am going to 
I'm gonna have emotions. God damn, who needs a therapist when you can just go on a hike in the mountains, yeah? <laughs> No, but seriously, um, definitely recommend the journaling every day, you know, like don't journal the thoughts of the enemy, you know, like you don't want to get angry and, and depressed with it. You do want to try to focus on like the positive and like the good things that happened that day. Yeah, but um, writing just kind of frees you. It, it allows you to take everything that's in your head and just get it out somewhere, whether other people see it or not, you know, it's out there. It's out there in the physical world and you don't have to carry all of it. It doesn't have to weigh so heavily on you, you know? Um, oh my God. Wow. If heaven exists, there is one on earth and it's the Hawaiian Islands. This is why I moved here. I knew this was a good idea. I knew it was a good idea to take this leap and just fucking do it because this place heals me, man. Like I'm convinced at this point, it doesn't matter what happens in my life. If I'm here, if I can escape, if I can get away to the mountains and to the ocean, I'm going to be fine. I am going to be okay. It might take some time. It's not going to happen overnight, but it's gonna be fine, you know? And I know, you know, I always say that I wanna retire in Iceland, um, but obviously, you know, things change. We'll see what happens if I even make it that far, yeah? But I don't know, sometimes I feel like I might still end up retiring here, um, hopefully on Kauai. Oh, I'm, I'm planning to actually island hop over there for a couple days soon too, um, cause I need it. I need, I need that Kauai soul energy you know if you've been there you know exactly what i'm talking about um but there's something about these islands you know it's it's like almost this it's like they're their own entity you know and they just they just kind of hug you you know like everything's gonna be fine boo just enjoy my beauty mountains like how how can you be upset like how can you be upset just standing here looking at this I'm just gonna do the whole trail at this point. <laughs> I haven't turned around yet. And uh, I mean, there's still quite a ways, ways to go before I get to, to the halfway point, but there's no point in just like turning around, you know, I might as well do the whole loop. Oh my God, there's so much beautiful scenery and like, oh, this is like the perfect, like deep, dark, like moody, like atmosphere, like lost in the forest type of like aesthetic. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't wait to get my camera. Usually I would apologize for being such a weirdy, but I'm in prime time of my life now, baby. I'm owning this shit. I am weird as fuck. I don't, who cares? Not me. <laughs> Although I do think I spend way too much time alone. <laughs>
I have stopped and probably taken like 30 pictures of just moss. I saw a post that said, uh, calling moss a uh, forest fur or earth fur, earth fur. Ah, I love it. It's so cute. It's so, it's so like cottage core. Like I love it. Fairy cottage core. That's what it is. I'm just a fairy lost in the woods. Don't know what's happening to my life, but I think I like it. Dropping bars. No, but for real, I am like unreasonably excited to be um, 27 now because I really do think that that is like the prime of your life between 27 and 37 because you're young, you're not old, but you have that like that perfect amount of life experience, you know, like you know where you're going, you know what you want, you've been through it. You've, you've made mistakes, you've learned lessons, like, it's perfect. And I always said, if I ever had a chance to turn into a vampire, I would want to be between the ages of 27 and 37. So if you're watching this and you're a vampire, you know, hit my line. Hit my line, shoddy. This is not good. I've been dicking around so much since I've been here, I've like, hardly drank any water so i am going to pop a squat on this log <laughs> no i am going to sit on this very nice tree and drink some water and just chill for a second just you know be be in the atmosphere <laughs> i would be so out of breath right now if I did this trail, like, within the first couple of months that I was living here. Um, and I'm, I feel completely fine. Like, the only reason I even stopped and drank water was because I was like, I need to stop and drink water. Like, I need to chill. Like, girl, you need to chill. Um, but it's just, it's incredible, like, seeing, like, what your body can really do. Um, after so long and after doing things like so often and then cutting the wrong things out But I really need to start eating better again. I need to get back to um, You know my meal prepping every single week eating my superfoods taking my vitamins every day And I need to start working out and doing yoga like almost if not every single day again, too Because um, that's really really important Time to move on and keep walking. I just heard like an eerie sound like a door hinge, like in a ghost movie. You know which sound I'm talking about. It came from like way down in the depths below. Kind of cool, but kind of scary. I just know the forest fairies and spirits and elves are probably just like, man, this bitch really just never shuts the fuck up, does she? I wonder if these were all like all cut down to make the trail because these are like these are cut like trees don't fall and break apart like this you know uh that's kind of sad in through the portal <laughs> my shoes are caked with mud how unfortunate yeah real slick here fall doesn't look too dangerous i mean i think i could catch myself but here a swishy that's to be careful you gotta be careful you gotta be quicker than that
This is really pretty. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I caught myself. Oh, my God. Oh, I need to... I need to be careful. Ah, <laughs> uh, I kicked myself. Listen, I think I just need to put it out there. Like, don't, don't be like me. Like, don't, don't be out here like doing this stuff. Don't like watch my videos and you know try to especially if you've never been on a ridge trail before like go on a ridge trail and try to like record and stuff like that because like yeah like that was funny jokes haha ha, ha, but like nah man like people really do fall from these things okay and it, it can be dangerous and uh you really have to be careful and know what you're doing for the most part you know have some experience of some sort and uh Cause it's not, it's not cool, you know? Um, like I don't want someone to watch my video and think that I'm like making light or making fun of like the potential of something really bad happening. Like I promise I am fully aware of what could happen. Um, you know, we all know about the hiker that fell from Polly Notches. Um, so we don't, you know, I, I never want to joke about something like that because that is really serious. It happens all the time and people don't just like get seriously injured. Like people, people die. Okay. Um, so I just, I just needed to throw that out there for a second because I thought about it and I was like, God, I'm kind of, kind of terrible. Although like, you know, obviously like, thank God that hiker, you know, is okay. He got to safety and everything. Um, he's doing all right. Um, long road ahead, but I just want to put it out there though. Like, I mean, it's not, it's kind of morbid, but I, I am very realistic about these things and about talking about these things. So I'm just going to throw it out there. Like if something ever did, um, you know, happen to me, like while I was out doing something like this, or even, you know, skydiving and stuff like that, um, like just know I... Again, I'm, I'm fully aware of what could happen at all times. And should I go out that way, at least I went out doing something that I loved to do. Um, so, you know, hopefully nothing happens and I, you know, get to live a very, like a long, long time. But in the event that I don't, you know, hopefully friends and family can look back on this and feel a little bit better. I'm not sure there is very many things that I love more than to be walking beside a mountain like this. Oh, look. Way down there is the ocean. And uh, what town is that? Oh, I think I know. That's a highway to heaven if I've ever seen one. Oh, oh my God, I feel so good. I feel so good. I needed this so bad, but like I knew that I needed it. And that's why like, I'm so glad I didn't let that headache this morning just ruin my whole day. And I was able to find a way to push through it because I just feel I feel light. 
uh, I feel like a bunch of weight has been lifted off um, and not even just you know from coming out here alone but coming out here and just being able to to just talk out loud and you know just to hear my voice and hear my thoughts out loud um that's why I love that's why I love making YouTube videos so much it it really does like it's not just fun for other people it's fun for you too and it really does help you sometimes um and I can't wait to look back on this video like 20 years from now God's willing Wow. Oh my. These are views that you like dream about, you know. God, I'm so lucky to be alive and to be here right now. I'm so happy right now. I can't believe how much is going on in this video and like in this day in general like it's like it was silly and goofy and funny and lighthearted but it's also dramatic and moody and emotional and clarifying like so much in one day not even a whole day really just like not even a handful of hours like life is so weird and so confusing sometimes and all we can do is just run with it you know control your thoughts control do your best to control your feelings and when you can just get out into nature and just feel it all. Write it down. Sometimes it just takes getting a little lost in the forest to uh, balance. You know what I mean? Know what I'm saying? I was about to turn around there for a second. I thought someone like slipped and fell or something, but I think it was just the, uh, someone's kids messing around. They stopped. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of people coming out now. But I think I'm almost done now. Oh wow, that's a ridge if I've ever seen one. Tell you what, I am, I feel good. I feel great. I'm ready to get through the rest of this trail, hit Safeway, grab a few groceries, and I'm gonna take a hot shower and I ain't doing jack the rest of the day. I'm laying in bed the rest of the day and I'm just gonna chill, maybe watch. Ooh, I still haven't seen Barbie. I was supposed to watch it on my birthday, but my birthday was, uh, I was so tired from work and I was, I was just not in the right state of mind. So I ended up going to bed early that night. I was just like, I don't want to be awake right now, but I'm having a much better day. So I might finally watch it cause I haven't seen it yet. 
much drier here. Who am I kidding? I'm gonna spend the rest of this day editing this video together and trying to find my good pictures. <laughs> This guy just walked by walking his dog and he had shades on and I swear he looked just like Joe Jonas. <laughs> or not, um, not Joe. Um, oh, the really cute one, the younger one, Nick, Nick Jonas. Ooh, he's so cute. No, um, I don't think it was him, obviously, but I mean, what would I have said if it was? Like, oh, hi, <laughs> bye, you know, like, bitch. Oh yeah, the sun is coming out. Sun is shining. Weather is sweet. No, I'm just claiming I'm not I'm not doing that. Um, but there's a lot of like real flat trail. It's actually mostly flat except for like that first beginning portion. Um, so I'm definitely gonna take my dog here with me next time. I, I think I think he can handle it now that I've done it. But I'm almost done. I've only been here like two hours, and that was with stopping, like a lot you know i stopped for my picture i stopped to drink water i stopped to take in the scenery and just kind of reflect so yeah but <laughs> it, like i said before if i would have done this trail like before it probably probably would have taken me like closer to four hours i'm just i'm not even gonna lie um you gotta be in shape, you know, um, at least somewhat. Like, I'm certainly not as fit as I could be, but I am going to change that this year. I have literally been playing Smile by Portugal the Man on repeat on the daily for like a week and a half now and it just lives in my head now and i think that's just that's my theme music now these are my favorites when it's like a trail leading underneath a canopy of these like light thin branches with these green leaves and the sun is just filtering through I had to hurry up and start walking. There's people behind me. Um, but it's just, it's so ethereal. Found me a nice bench. It's a nice view. So I'm going to just chill for a second, uh, drink some more water, and just take it in, you know, take in this strange day. Uh, by, by the way, I am completely aware of how strange or kind of weird I tend to be sometimes, so, you know, I, I know. <laughs> So I've recently discovered this new uh, genre, I suppose it would be, of writing called stream of consciousness writing. And it's actually the type of writing that Virginia Woolf did. I've never read any Virginia Woolf work, but I'm going to because I, I love this concept and I've, I'm trying my hand at it and I love where it's going so far. I mean, the short story I'm writing is definitely dark and twisted and a little psychologically demented, but you know, art is art is art. <laughs> But I'm actually going to put that one under one of my pseudonyms, which is um, Sookie Hawthorne. Obviously, Sookie's after Sookie Stackhouse from True Blood. If you know me, you know I love my True Blood. Um, but I'm excited for it. And I'm thinking, I think on my blog, I am going to open up another page um, for short stories. And then I'll just, um, you know, whether, I'm, whether it's under me or it's under one of my pseudonyms, I'll just, I'll 
file it accordingly, I suppose. Um, but I'm tired of hiding my writing I'm, and I don't like, it's very difficult to get writing out there under a pseudonym when you don't have a literary agent and you have no way to market it as yourself. So I'm just gonna market my own pseudonyms under myself because I'm really, I want it to be separate from this identity, but I don't feel the need to be hidden behind it anymore. Um, you know, like not everyone's gonna like your writing anyway, that's okay. Um, but I'm, I'm very excited for this new step, you know? Righty, well, I have exited the forest. I am now back on the paved road. I uh, have a little ways to go to get to my car, but I think this was a successful day out in nature and I had a really good time and I'm really excited um, to take Helios out here in a couple days and get another um, little video out of that and get back ahead on my videos now so I'm not recording the week before and I'm actually recording like a few weeks ahead of time. And that's also, you know, just for safety purposes too, yeah. Um, but I'm walking up on some roosters and some chickens and I think that's where this video ends. <laughs> so yeah, a lot a lot happened there. I really, I don't know what happened today. That was a lot. I'm gonna get the fuck out of this car's way. But yeah, you know, so obviously if you like this video, you know where the subscribe button is. There's lots and lots more coming. So have a lovely day and remember, it's a beautiful day to be alive.